my top 10 alkaline vegan tips. These tips are going to help you become the healthiest version of yourself and become a fit vegan. into the topic of the video <clears throat> number one you want to do your research all right do your research too many times people jump into the water without a life preserver what does that mean I remember being young and my parents my teachers people who were older than me always told me to think before you speak listen before you talk and think about or do your research before you jump out there and start to act, okay? And the reason why this is so important is because if you don't do your research first, you're going to lack the right knowledge and the right information to stick to it long term. And if this is something that you want to incorporate into your life and make a lifestyle change, then you want to do your research first. Because if you don't, you're going to be in a world of trouble, a world of pain, a world of destruction when it comes to your vitality and your longevity, okay? So do your research. Number two, eat enough. I got a protein shake right here. A lot of people do not eat enough food, especially when they go alkaline, especially when they go vegan. Why? Well, here's the truth. Two things that happens. Either a person eats way too much food or they don't eat enough. And when they go alkaline, they think that all they have to do is do a, a, a sea moss smoothie every day and they're fine. Drink alkaline water and they're fine. No, you still have to get the right amount of calories, the right amount of nutrients, and the right amount of minerals each and every day. And the way you do that is to eat enough food. Vegan food and alkaline food are very nutrient dense and not calorie dense. Animal products are calorie dense and not nutrient dense, right? That's why when you go to the store, anything that comes in a bag or box has a whole lot of calories, but very little nutrients. So when you go alkaline and when you go vegan, you need to eat the right amount of food every single day. The right amount of food for you depends on your body weight, your body type, your height, your age, everything like that. So if you need help with that, click the link below and I can help you out with that, all right? But <clears throat> just in general, make sure you eat enough food, okay? Number three, drinking enough water, all right? Drinking enough water, okay? That's number three. Um, when it comes to water, just a little side note, there's a whole, when you go to the store, Kroger, Walmart, whatever store you go to, you go down the water aisle, and you see the word alkaline a whole lot now. When things get popularized, you can best believe that mainstream media has its grasp on it. And when it becomes super mainstream, the quality of it diminishes. So I wouldn't recommend you drink anything that says alkaline water on the label. Stick to spring water. Stick to reverse osmosis. Stick to things like that, okay? But drinking enough water is super vital. Okay, without enough water, your body cannot go through the right processes that it needs to go through every single day. And the amount of water that you need, roughly between two to four liters, um, depending on your age, of course, but you can do your research and learn how much water you need every day and stick to it every day. Me personally, I drink about a gallon a day. That's on a very extreme level because I work out very intensely. But if you're you know, moderative um, activity level, two to three, two to four um, liters every single day. All right. Number four, supplementation. Getting the right supplementation is super important. When you go vegan, guess what? You're missing out on three um, very essential things. Well, two specifically, B12 and omega-3. B12 is in bacteria and omega-3 is... Um, a vitamin and a nutrient and a hormone that only arises in plants 
sea vegetables specifically okay so if you want to make sure your wellness is where it needs to be and your blood work is where it needs to be you need to get the right amount of b12 you need to get the right amount of omega-3 fatty acids and also vitamin d okay if you're not getting about 20 minutes of sun each and every day like the sun is out right now which i'm about to go get me some you still need to supplement with it at least two to three times a week okay so very very important and be very cognizant of that number five protein like i said i got a protein shake right here you want to make sure you get enough protein let's break this down into three parts one for someone who is not very active and they just live you know very normal Number two, someone who is active, very active job or workout, you know, somewhat regularly. And then number three, an athlete. All right. Now, these three type of people need very different protein needs. The very basic and very minimum is about 0.5 to 0.6 grams of your body weight. So whatever your body weight is, times that by 0.5. Someone who is very active, like a very physically demanding job warehouse job for example you need about 0.6 to 0.7 all right and someone who's an athlete trying to build some muscle and make those vegan gains you want to make sure you're getting about 0.8 to about 1.0 um, grams of protein each and every day per pound of body weight if you're not you're going to lose weight if you're not you're not going to be able to gain weight if you're not going to be in a world of trouble i'm here to tell you i made the mistake so you don't have to make a mistake hove did that so hopefully you don't have to go through that all right it's just a little jay-z um line number six build the habit there's an author named charles duhigg he wrote the book called the power of habit in that book specifically he talks about this the part of the brain that actively does things that you actively are thinking about things is a different part of the brain that actually builds habit once the once an activity or a certain um, thing that you want to um, do every single day goes into the habit category you don't have to think about it for um very actively you don't have to be in the forefront in front of your brain why is this important because you want this to become a habit. If this is a lifestyle change, you want it to become a habit. Why? So you don't have to think about it. So you don't have to force yourself to do it. So you don't have to be so, uh, I don't, I, I'm, I'm tired of doing it. You don't have to be like that. When I work out every day, it's more tough for me not to go work out than it actually is for me to work out. That's because I've been doing it so long and it became a habit. Okay? So you really want to build that habit, build, ingrain those things into your psyche, okay? Um, number seven, know your why. You have to know why you're doing this. Because if you don't, guess what? It's going to be tough. It's going to be hard. It's going to be long. No pun intended. It's going to be very difficult. And when it's very difficult... People tend not to do things very much, right? Um, there's a book called Flow, and I talk about books a whole lot. Get used to it. There's a book called Flow. In that book called Flow, it said it talks about the flow state. If you ever heard the flow state or ever um, um, heard anybody talk about the flow state before, the flow state is when you are doing something and time goes by super fast. You can remember time when you're hanging out with your friends or something and you're like damn where the time go it went by quick or you're watching your favorite show and it goes by just like that or you're doing an activity and it just goes by super fast same thing happens when you're doing something building a skill or things like that right if it's too difficult you give up if it's too easy you get bored so it needs to be right in the middle and the only way to do that is to know your why so you can stick to it and have that flow sensation to actually stick to it long term okay number eight this is a very important one especially for the people who hate the gym or don't like to work out um even if you don't like working out you still need to have some type of physical activity every single day 
and that can be walking. And that is number eight, walking. Walk every single day, at least 10,000 steps. And why is this important? Because nutrition is 75% of the game, but you still need that 25%. Without it, you're not going to um, be in a very healthy state. You can eat good, but your body still needs to be strong. Your body still needs to have strength, especially when you get in your older age. So you may be watching this right now and you're, you know, 18, 25, 30. Or you may be watching this and you're 55 or you're 65 or you even maybe even 70, 75. Your body needs to be strong. And one way to do that and the one way to stay lean and stay fit and stay healthy is to get some steps in every single day. Get some walking in. Not super extensive cardio. You can just do walking and you will be completely fine. All right. And we're winding down to the end of the list. Got two more. Number nine. Don't be too hard on yourself. This is a very important one. Please don't beat yourself up. This is a process. This is a journey. The words of Nipsey Hussle. It's a marathon, not a sprint. All right? And it's very easy for us to get down on ourselves. It's very easy for that. Right? It's very easy to beat ourselves up. We talk to ourselves way worse than we would ever talk to anybody else on the street, our friends, our family. The, the, the inner dialogue of what we talk about and call ourselves is so harsh. Think about if your thoughts were um, broadcast to the world. People would be like, damn, why do you say those things about yourself? So first thing is don't beat yourself up. Start treating yourself like someone that you actually love. And when you fall off track, hold yourself accountable but don't beat yourself up. Don't, don't bully yourself. That's the thing. Don't bully yourself. Recognize it. Take notes. Hold yourself accountable and push forward. When I do something wrong, I get mad at myself. Yes, like we all do. We're all human. A few seconds later, I adjust. What can I learn from this? Move forward. How can this benefit me in the future? Move forward. Recognize the pitfall. Write it down. So I can avoid it, try my best to avoid it next time. And that's the way you deal with falling off track. Imperfect consistency outweighs perfect inconsistency any day of the week. That means you don't have to be perfect. But if you don't give up, you will make it happen. All right. Last but not least, very important one. <laughs> don't eat too clean. So... What happens is people are on two sides of the spectrum. Either they eat salads all day or they become a junk food vegan. Both of these are completely wrong. Both of these are completely um, terrible to do, okay? What you want to do instead is you want to... Eat 85% clean and 15% of the foods that you just love. That way, you don't binge eat. That way, you can stick to it. That way, you can give yourself a treat. That way, you're not a tyrant to yourself. And you can give yourself rewards and eat some of the foods that you actually love. You can go out and have a drink with your friends. You can go out and do these things. Go out to eat. You don't have to be so rigid and so boxed in. All right. Um, yes, I eat junk food, vegan junk food sometimes, but I eat primarily healthy. I get my nutrient needs every single day. So that what allows me to have fun and eat some of the things I love. I love I, I'm not a foodie by any means. I can eat the same thing every single day, but sometimes I do want something different. So with that being said, you can't be too hard on yourself. And you need a balance. Life is about balance, okay? So, if this was any value to you whatsoever, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification because I'm dropping hot fire like Dylan every single day, each and every morning for you. So you can become the healthiest version of yourself. So you can become fit, become 
um, more vital and more knowledgeable about this area of your life so you don't have to worry about getting sick later in life, okay? So um, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like, leave a comment below on what you want to hear next, and I will talk to you soon. Feel yourself. Don't fool yourself. Peace out. Thanks for watching the video. This video was any value to you whatsoever. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, if you are struggling on your fitness and health journey and you need help, I want you to click the link below right now to schedule a free consultation call with me, all right? Absolutely free, no strings attached. Also, if you just need some tips, join my free Facebook group for vegan beginners and people who just want to be around like-minded individuals, all right? So, till next time, fear yourself, don't fool yourself. Talk soon.